Hey guys, welcome to the UPSC Mind Map PYQ channel. Here we try to discuss and analyze the previous question which is which have been asked in civil service examination. Today's question is based on the concept of non-financial debt. It was asked in pre-2020. Let's first see the question. The question is, in the context of Indian economy, non-financial debt includes which one of the following? Which of the following? So the first statement is housing loans owned by household, amount of outstanding on credit cards, third is treasury bills, option is one only, one and two only, three only, one, two and three. Now, Let's understand the concept of non-financial debt. So, before that, we need to understand what is a financial institution means. Financial institution is financial institution are those institution that borrow solely to relent the money. So, for example. The, uh, we have banks like Punjab National Bank or State Bank of India and State Bank of India. So when they don't have enough money, they borrow from other banks to give loans to the people or companies. So the, their business model works in this way. This is these all all these institutions are called financial institutions. And the debt taken by them is called financial debt. Example, if SBI taking loan from RBI, then it will call as financial debt. There's one more concept in this, which is treasury bills. Treasury bills are issued by government to borrow money for a short period of time. So whenever the government need money, and their resources like taxes and other resources, financial resources are not enough to run different schemes or to run other things, to run government, they issue treasury bills, which are short term, short term instrument. It's usually for less than one year. It's for less than one year to borrow money from the market. So. All, uh, all the debt taken by any other person or institution or company is called non-financial debt except banks or any institution which are taking it to real land. So let's go read the question again. In the context of Indian economy, non-financial debt includes which of the following? Housing loans owned by households. So in this case, the housing loan is usually taken by a person who to buy a house. So the the intention is not to relend the money. So this is an example of non-financial debt. Second thing is amount outstanding in credit card. Again, this is again taken by people to purchase things, not to relend. So this is also an example of non-financial debt. Third is treasury bills. Then the treasury bill, as I have just explained to you, is issued by government to borrow money for a short period of time. Not for giving, um, this money is borrowed by government not to give loans to other people. Just they take the borrow the money to run schemes or daily functioning or their daily expenditure. So all the, the three statements are example of non-financial debt. So here the answer the solution will be D. I hope you have understood non-financial debt concept. It's a very small but very important concept. If you like the video, please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubt or any suggestion, please comment in the comment section. Thank you.